What's Up New York? I'm Lady Nat, your guest host for this week. Welcome to another exciting edition of What's Up New York, New York's number one Caribbean news magazine since 2001. As you can see, I'm at the Flatbush Avenue train station at the Flatbush Junction. I'm on my way to see the king man himself, H. Diggy, who recently just started hosting a new radio show on WPAT. I'm about to head on the subway. See you in a bit. What's up, New York? Just got off the subway and heading to see H. Diggy. We are finally here at WPAT's headquarters, where H. Diggy himself is hosting his weekly radio show. Let's go see what he's up to. What's up, New York? I am finally here with the man, H. Diggy. What's up, Mr. Diggy? Hey, <laughs> what's up, Lady Nat? There's a whole lot of shaking going on. Yes. First off, I want to say welcome to our TV audience, our internet audience, and uh, welcome to you to uh, my new home, WPAT 930 AM, where I hang out every Saturday evening from 7 to 10 PM with Vinny B and the Vinny B Show Showcase. All right, Lady Nat, have you ever been to a radio station before? Actually, yes, I have. Oh. I was the former president of our school radio station, so I'm a little familiar. You know, it's, it feels like home. All right, so so rate it. One to ten. Here? Yes. It's up there. Nine, ten-ish. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Mega Everest radio station. People... <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, I have to big up my station. I, I really do. So that's home for me. Right. So anything, I, I have to big it up. Well, welcome to my house anyway. Well, thank you. All right, that's what's <laughs> up, New York. Anyway, people, uh, we're going to pop off a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Talk about some things. Yes. Uh, do a few things. Yes. But in the meantime. We'll be back. All right. That's what's up. <laughs> Deputy Inspector Corey Pegues, Commanding Officer of the 67th Precinct. We have two gun programs we would like to discuss today. One is our gun amnesty program. If you go into any local precinct within the confines of New York City and bring a gun or give us information that you have a gun at your house, we'll come pick it up. You get $100 for that gun. We'll give you a voucher where you can go and pick up $100. There's no questions asked and you don't have to have the fear of being arrested. We also have another program where if you give us any information leading to the arrest and conviction of someone with a gun, we'll give you $1,000. And those two programs are very important to the New York City Police Department because the more guns we get off the street, the safer the streets can be. You're never too young to learn about HIV. What's up, New York? Uh, welcome back. Back to the action <laughs> right here um, on What's Up, New York. Um, like I said before, we're inside my other other office, uh, WPAT, where I have uh, joined uh, Vinny B and uh, the Culture Zone crew. You know, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. This is like my favorite type of radio, talk radio. You know, this is where I get to really say what I want to say. Now, um, you watched the debate, yeah? Yes, I did, actually. Oh, all right. Now, you know, um, what did you think? What's your opinion as a young person? Well, honestly, for me, from my perspective, I had to step away from the television set to mm -hmm. really sit there and listen to what I was hearing mm -hmm. because Romney was rambling mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. and on. Mm -hmm. And it's basically about, well, this is what I will do, but how? You know, I was waiting for how. Mm -hmm. So when I, I did not, he did not get around to mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. that was a problem for me. So I just, I, I, I could not. Now, he came out after that and he said, um, hey, you know, I didn't tell the, the, the complete truth. You know, I am a liar, but um, please believe me and vote for me anyway. How does that affect your uh, trust level of somebody like that? Well, it's politics and politics, as they would say. So for me... The facts are there. Mm -hmm. We're going off facts, mm -hmm. not what you said. And, well, I 
flubbed and you right. know it's a little fib but right. this is what the truth really is right. but in fact it's still not the truth right. so i can't i can't go for that quite an interesting perspective um, anyway, people, now it's time for our artist interview segment. Hey, what's up, New York? We're here with the man Cargo at Reggae Song Fest 2012. Cargo, what's up? There, I know what's up. Everything turn up. Yeah, man. For real. Cargo, this year in the music, you have come across a bit of controversy, as we all know, and stuff like that. We're asking Cargo, how has this helped you to build? As an artist, how has it helped you to grow? You know, sir, it not really helped me to grow though because you know, it busts me. So I mean, I me just defend myself and just allow it to spot it there. You understand? Because I them a pick at me, you see me? So I just defend myself. It come like a man attack you on the road and want to fight you and you fight back. And it's either him win or you win. And you just just your own and call it a day, you see me? But right now, I don't really know what to do for me because I don't try to lead up and drain my energy go down the lane there. You see what I mean? I say, we just, we just defend my thing to a point and say, alright, it's over now, you understand? So, I just sit that because Cargo is a man by himself, you see me? Yeah, man. Alright, so tell us Cargo, what is Cargo doing to move forward this year, 2012, into 2013? What are your plans coming up? If you notice, know, Cargo go out and just relax and sing and try to make the people them know. So, you know, singing is really my thing, you see what I mean? So, so, right now, you have a host of singing song that come out for Cargo because Cargo just get signed by a good management team, you see what I mean? So, so I that them a focus on the singing of Cargo right now. So, you go hear some singing song. I may have a techno song right now with Spot. I know it's going to go hard, you see me? Yeah, man. So, any tours coming up? I um, you know, see, as I finish interview me in Canada, I go right now on a big show like this right now, like Sunfest. You understand? A big show in Canada. For the first time, you know. From 2010, they want me. And I don't know more than I deal with the US, you see me? So, a Canada time now, you know? Yeah, man. Well, congratulations to Cargo and keep strong. And Cargo, who do you want to say what's up to? Yeah, I just want to say what's up to the world, you see what I mean? Say? Just want to live up in a love, you see what I mean? Say? And we are telling people them in the music and you know, everything we want to hear and you know, if you just jump sometime it's just fun, you see me? Because fun of in the music, even though you hear me say, um, what happened a while ago no do nothing for me. You understand? I sure we don't really want the people them to go the wrong way about it, you understand? So we rather just drop it and say squash it. But the people them, some people have fun about it, you understand? So just I tell the people them so just go and live up in a love. You understand, and get up a man in time and heal a neighbor and hit that. That's what I mean, say nothing more, you understand. Positive words from the man Cargo. What's up, New York? That's what's up. Welcome back, everyone, to What's Up, New York. H. Diggy, do you still party? Only after I lick my lips. No. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. We're all about when I call. All right. All right. So you will definitely love this clip from our Guns Down party that I hosted at McGarris College last week. Take a look at these videos. Remember that dance there? Come so when I feel the girl them bubble pan If you love to see the girl them a bubble put up your hand You play song for the girl stab us blank Now the girl them time Play song for the girl white match Big selector a player you no rookie Catch the bass line watch the girl them a shubi hey, When the girl them a dip it and a drop it you a if you're not happy, follow me then None of the shows, so me glad me come out Where the Philip, what you talking about? Road me live, me no want to see no host We are rave and I wait, and it's on to come out Girl a bubble, bubble girl a bubble Bubble girl a bubble, bubble girl a bubble Bubble day my bubble, bubble girl a bubble Bubble girl a bubble Hey, what's up everybody? I'm here at Mega Evans College Sife Girl, guns down party and I'm here with Ivana Jack, SGA Evening Vice President. How do you feel about the event so far? Well, I saw that the event is a success. Everybody out there having a good time. You know, we just came to have fun and guns down. What's up, everybody? Again, we're here at Sipes. Meet and greet. Welcome back. Guns Down Party. And I'm here with... Don Jack. From where? What club you representing? Mega Radio Nation, you heard? What's your position on the Radio Nation board? El Presidente. That's what it is. Big man on campus, you already know. And we have the VP of Radio Nation right here, Mr. Mark White. Say what up, Artists, this way. What's up, what's up? Stephen Halstead. All right, how do you feel right now? 
What's going on? How do you feel? Like the vibe? You don't want my opinion. Hey everyone, what's up again? It's your girl Nat and I'm here with the main man of the hour and your name is Mr. Sean Pryor. And you are? Site President. Okay, and what's your initiative? I didn't hear you on that one. What's your initiative? My initiative is to actually go against gun violence. That's our main project, is to tackle the gun violence that's going on in our communities. And we're definitely going to make an impact on it. You know, so guys in the streets, put down your guns, pick up your minds, educate yourselves, and realize that it's all a design plan and stop being a, a problem, uh, stop being a, the problem and be the solution to what's, what's going on in our communities. You know, real recognize real. You know, I used to be out there, you know, and, and I still got people out there. And I let them know, yo, it's not about that, and we got to educate the, the youth, you know? It's not about using them, it's about building their minds up so they can be better than we are, you know? As a people, we got we to gotta embrace each other, empower each other, you know? And that's from the heart, you know? I lost a lot of good friends to the streets, a lot of good friends that's, that's locked in life for prison, you know, and um, it's about making a change, you know? So that's what this, this is event is about. Everybody's having fun, dancing, even though the security don't want to turn off the lights. But hey, what can you do? We, everybody out ha having a good time, that's it. Hey, how's it going? You know, this is your man Jeff Ball. I'm the Asia president, 2012, 2013 at Mega Harvest College. You know, we try to promote this party so we can keep our students informed and track critical activities for them, you know? Thanks, Jeff, and he's also Mr. MBC. Asian lover on my left, you know. This the man that was in the video that promoted this party. Where are you? Yes, yes. And what's your name? Remind the people, what's your name? My name is DJ Haitian Lover. All right, Haitian Lover. Okay, I gotta stay away. He's Haitian. I gotta stay away. What's up, everyone? My name is Nat, and I'm here at the Mega Evans College Life Party, and I'm here with a lovely, lovely lady. You want them to know who you are? Sure, my name is Suprema. Are you a student here at Mega? No, I'm not, but I have graduated from college. Oh, that's great. So you're here to support the students. Definitely support the cause. Most certainly. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. How do you feel so far? Good, good. Hi, hey, everybody. What's up again? It's your girl at Mega Evans College Side Party, and I'm here with Mr. Jeff Paul and a lovely lady. What's your name, honey? Cornell. What's your name? Cornell. Oh, she even have a nice name. Oh, my God. Where you found her? <laughs> Hey, you know, this is me and wifey right here, you know, chilling right here at the party. This is the first lady, Kone Awa, having fun, you know, first class. All right, now, do you have friends? Of course, yeah, I do. Do you have good friends? I do have good friends. All right, you know, I used to hear they say a, a, a friend indeed is a friend in need, you know, and I thought need meant something totally different. Huh. You know, so this next person that we're going to talk about was my friend, you know, when I was in need. I was in a bad situation. Um, I was very ill, you know, and um, this person really came to my aid uh, to help bring me comfort and security, you know. So um, when Sean, you know, a.k.a. Bellamus, our producer, uh, came to me and said, well, Diggy, you know, Don, Don Jiggy is trying to raise some money to make his video, man. What are we going to do to help him? I said, hey, man, let's put him on. You know, and see if there's anybody out there who will believe in him enough to help him realize his dream and help him make uh, the video of his dreams. You know, he's a friend of Shaggy's and uh, Red Fox and Screechy Dan. And we've seen all those people shine. You know, now I feel it's time for Don Jiggy to step up and do his thizzle. You know what I mean? It is. Support that. Don <laughs> Jiggy. <laughs> That's right. So without further ado, further ado Don Jiggy, my dude, do your thizzle. This is Dan Jiggy. Yeah, man. You don't know. Me there, so it was up TV. I just want to big up Bellamos and HD for doing their thing at What's Up TV, number one reggae music video show in New York City. Yeah, well, as I said, this is Dan Jiggy. I just want to let y'all know about my new project I'm doing with Kickstarter. Trying to get my dough up to go do this video. You know, you can go to Dan Jiggy, reggae music, New York, on Facebook. And please check out my stuff and like on my page. I had the opportunity this year to do a little touring. Went to Russia, 
you know, met some Greek people, some Philippine people and thing. You know, so I make a little tune with name Dan Jiggin. And on my fourth verse, I speak Russian, Greek, Philippine, Chinese, Korean and Israeli. Yeah man, it goes okay. You know, my music I want to bring everybody together. Not just Jamaican but for the world. You understand? But this is a little sample of it. It goes up. Dan jiggy, dan da the jiggle, oh G da the jiggy, short screaming I papi da the jiggy, dan da the jiggle, oh G da the jiggy, diggy diggy. Yo to my Russian Krasovitz as I say, La blue tibia of my baby. Yo to my Greek shorties, you know I got to say, Yazoo, if I rust off for your sway, because I love it when you swing it my way. Yo to my Philippine shorties, what I say, Maganda bini bini yo. Day, Nihama to my Chinese short days, Toda to my Israelis, they call me Abada the Jigalo G, Kom Zahamida de Pung Hagashi, Korean short is always treat me very lovely. Mm. Dan Jiggy, Dan da the Jigalo G, da the Jiggy, short screaming, I papi, da the Jiggy, Dan da the Jigalo G, da the Jiggy, Diggy Diggy. Yeah, so I just want to just go on my page, go like on my page, that's Dan Jiggy, reggae music. New York on Facebook and go like on my page and help support me with my Kickstarter project startup. And remember, listen to the number one reggae show in New York City that's What's Up TV with HD and Bella Most them will run the place. Jiggy Dan Sessa, Dan Jiggy Sessa. What's up, New York? Welcome. Wow. Welcome to the Culture Zone here on What's Up, New York. Um, I want to say, first of all, uh, Vinny B, uh, thank you very much for inviting me, you know, to join the family. Okay. You know, I've been... All right, last year this time, people, I was in Hudson County, you know, in immigration detention. And about now, I would have been tuned to the Culture Zone. Okay. Um, and, 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 and the Culture Zone was, was one of the programs uh, that helped us Caribbean uh, uh, detainees um, really get through the time. You know, it was something to look forward to on the weekend. You know, um, you had people who liked the, 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 like the 105 and yeah. there's some other programs that were listened to, but Culture Zone really gave you that. After my workout, you know, and, 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 and I cool down, I want to lay on my bunk and, you know, just come back to the street in my mind. The culture zone was what was was playing my headphones. Well, it, it, it was my 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 thought. I, this whole thing of culture zone started. I was about nine years old. Yeah. Listen to all the jocks in Jamaica, and um, those days as a youth, they tell you, "Well, son, you're not going nowhere because you're not, you're not in society." And for me, it was a journey then. So when I had the opportunity to, to get into this market, get into the skill, uh, I went to school, honed my my craft, listened to people like a uh, Ken Williams or a Don Topping or a Jeff Barnes, you know, and work my way in the field, you know, and, and, and for me, giving back to society is what I think we need to do, just not just for us, but for the youth coming behind us, mm -hmm. so they can be, you know, they could be a H Diggy or they could be a Brash or anybody else, because, you know, stand by, inside culture, you know, you know this is live radio, people, <laughs> that, this is what goes radio. down, man. While we do this, um, go tell it on the mountain. Uh, there, there are a lot of things that we have to tell, and uh, we're doing TV and radio this evening. <laughs> At the same time. AM 930, AM stands for must listen to radio. So <laughs> meditate to this while we do a lot of TV off air and with you on air. And we're going to be taking calls to you later on. We're here at 10 o'clock, 212-219-9695 or 212-219-9620. And we'll come back to the round table right after this. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Like I said, people, this is live radio, live TV. Right. Now, um, so you're, you're, you're telling us, you know, why you started this. So what is your hope in this, though? You know? Well, my hope is that our people really appreciate what we're trying to do for them because a lot of it is not just about money. And for those coming in the market, yes, we want to make money, but you must serve the people first. And I think money will come after that. But I don't think enough of our people realize that the guys that are out there now is really doing enough to, to reserve the culture, preserve the culture. But there are a lot more business people can do. If you own a body shop, a mechanic shop, if you, you, you just um, have a basic business, a beauty salon, whatever you have, and we come by and say, listen, spend a commercial. We're not asked for much. You want to buy a commercial for $50, $100? Work it out. This is an investment, not just for, for your business, but for the culture. So, you know, support your people in, on the air. You know, we just don't pop up on the air. It costs a lot of money. 
And yes, we should invest a lot into it before I said before it's gone. Uh, or before Romney shuts off everything and we us and Big Bird be out there on the moment <laughs> looking for something to do. So I, I think I think people now, you know, in they're watching both both media here, T V, they should really consider an investment. And yes, here in America, there's a tax write off. And we hope that the same thing can happen in Jamaica. Where you invest in culture, there's a tax write off. And we're looking for people that can really, um, when, they, when they make a record, they must copyright it and market it properly. And so I'm hoping that the Prime Minister of Jamaica and anywhere in the Caribbean, when your artists are out there, invest some of the money that you take from the people. Put it into the artists. Create, create a public school program where there's music. And yes, if, every now and then, invite some of the artists in. Pay them a salary so everybody can feed off it. You know, and I don't think they're doing that. So we have to invest in us and not think about what other people, the Grammys. I listen about the Grammys all the time. I'm not worried about the Grammys. I think we should create an army for our people. Yes. That's what I'm about, creating an army for our people and support what we have. I'll be right back right after this. All right. <laughs> thanks a lot, man. Listen, we're going to wrap it up right here. Um, thanks for talking to us, man. Uh, uh, always, uh, if you want to check out the program, you can log on to www.culturezonelive.com or if you remember where the AM is on your dial, tune in to 9.30 AM. That's the Culture Zone um, every Saturday uh, from 7 to 10. That's what's up, New York. Well, that's it, New York. I want to thank you for joining us for another exciting episode of What's Up, New York. And for coming into my other home, the studios of WPAT 930 AM. This is where real radio takes place. We're going to revitalize AM and make AM as poppin' as the other frequency. So you had a good time? I sure did. And you're going to come back? I will. Since you allow me to come back, I will. Well, we got to ask Sean. Sean? He said yes. <laughs> anyway, folks. So, um, once again, thank you for joining us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Right here on your favorite station for not a hot episode of What's Up New York. Yes. And I'm Lady Nat. Just say what's up to my husband and little man at home. Love you. Why, am I right? Yes. And not after this episode. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, Mr. Nacho, you're live in the place. Yeah, you're my lover. You're the only one that means so much to me. Hey New York, I'm Deandra. This is I'm Gil. And we are a guy and a girl. Jaja, ja, I wanna love you and you take me higher. Never will you leave me alone. As your soldier, you keep pulling me closer to see me at the right of your throne. Ja, ja, I want to love you when you take me higher. Never will you leave me alone. Posted as your soldier, you keep pulling me closer to the right of your throne. Got to face in life 